Sometimes we're interested in how much charge has flowed past a point in a given time. With our simulation, we could just count the number of black dots that passed a point in, say, 30 seconds, and that would give us the charge in coulombs. So, for example, charges coming into the top of the stopwatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. But with real circuits, we can't do this. However, we can measure current using an ammeter and time using a stopwatch. And then we can use current and time to calculate the amount of charge that's flowed. And this is the idea. Each ampere of current is one coulomb of charge per second. So here the current is four amperes. So four coulombs of charge enter the ammeter every second. So four amperes flowing past a point for one second moves four coulombs of charge past that point. If it flowed for two seconds, then eight coulombs of charge passed. If it flowed for three seconds, then 12 coulombs of charge passed. And if it flowed for four seconds, then 16 coulombs of charge passed, and so on. In general, Q equals IT. The charge that flowed past a point equals the current that flowed times the time that it flowed for. This is just our equation for current, I equals Q over T, rearranged by multiplying both sides by T. The T's cancel out. We end up with IT equals Q. And because these two things are equal to each other, we can just swap sides and say, well, therefore, Q equals IT. We can also use a triangle like this. Charge Q is I times T. Current I is Q over T. And time T is Q over I. In this circuit, 0.5 amperes flowed through this bulb for two minutes, and we need to calculate the charge that flowed through the bulb. First of all, let's capture some information from the question. I equals 0.5 amps, T equals two mins. But amperes are coulombs per second, not coulombs per minute. So we need to convert two minutes into seconds by multiplying by 60, giving 120 seconds. And then we're going to use ESOR, equation, substitution, answer, unit. The equation, Q equals IT, charge equals current times time. And then instead of current, we're going to put the value 0.5. And instead of time, we're going to put the value of 120 seconds. And then we work out the answer, 0.5 times 120 is 60. And the unit is the coulomb. So the charge is 60 coulombs.